And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Roman Reigns calls the ring his yard, and I don't expect him to give it up tonight. Well, the big dog's on the hunt, and I wouldn't want to be in his sights right now. And he's heading back in. Watch out, Roman Reigns is on the attack now. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. Look at Roman Reigns here. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. But he's very aware of who he's in there with nice. and what he has to do to rebound. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Watch out, Roman Reigns is on the attack now. Oh, I think this man means business. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like oh, this man. guy. The human body can only absorb so much of that. For years, guys, the Intercontinental Championship somehow eluded Roman Reigns, but that all changed in November 2017 when the Big Dog defeated The Miz to capture the title. And not only did that victory over The Miz give Reigns the Intercontinental Championship, Michael, but it also made him a prestigious Grand Slam champion. Check out Bobby Roode's offense. As Saxton said, not too long ago, Reigns' Intercontinental Championship victory made him a Grand Slam champion. And the ironic thing is, the win came against The Miz who's also a Grand Slam champ. <laughs> wow, it's almost hard to believe. Watch, from what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. Game, set, match, this one is over. Too close for comfort. He can't let that happen again. This is amazing. There's no doubt Roman Reigns has a long career in front of him. But guys, if he chose to hang him up today, I'd say he's a surefire Hall of Famer. Nicely executed. Oh, Bobby Roode able to avoid damage. Nice. Executed perfectly. That's how you make an impact. Focusing more on Michael's Hall of Fame argument, I definitely agree that Reigns belongs. Just look at everything he's already done. Bobby Roode set his spine buster. What a comeback. You're going to want to see your internist after a slam like that. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. So damaging. He's inflicting some serious pain here. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match, where Roman Reigns defends. What's Roman Reigns putting together here? Call your friends. He's going for the pin. And Roman Reigns gets out quickly. Roman Reigns just powering out of that pin attempt. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story of that night came after the match. I'd agree with that for sure. Absolutely nobody thought they'd see Seth Rollins on that night, especially Roman Reigns. Oh boy, he is rolling.
Unleashing a vicious attack on the shoulder. Oh, he's able to reverse it. you guys, but if I'm in the ring against Bobby Roode, and thankfully I never will be, I target his arms. Makes sense, right, Byron? I like your thought process, Michael. He can't lift you up for the glorious DDT if he can't use his arms. Very smart. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Roman Reigns gathering attention in a hurry. Following up on how to succeed against Roode in addition to the arms, I would think spending some time on his shoulders couldn't hurt. Anything to prevent him from picking you up for the glorious DDT. I'll tell you what, if Rude had zero arms and a match against the two of you, I'm still putting all my money on the glorious one. Hey. Uh-oh. We know what Reigns is looking to do here. Spear! Cut him in half! But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Three. 